Matches Club. He has recently received his Competent Communicator Award and represented the club during the fall of 2014 Humorous Speech Contest. Jeff is a, fan, a fanatical world traveler, having been to over 10 countries over Latin America and Asia. His more exotic experiences have included entry into the most exclusive nightlife of Colombia, zip lining over an Amazon River in Ecuador, and attending the legendary full moon party, which is a 30,000 person European raid on a private island in Thailand. <laughs> that can put you in that kind of position. 
where you can do business between Asia and Latin America. Do it for six months. You get to move to Asia for six months. You get to move to Latin America for six months. You can come back to Los Angeles. That's, that's an impossible future for me. So, let's go back to brands. You want to be a management consultant? Those firms, especially if you want to work for one of the top four like I do, they want a specific brand employee. They won't just hire anybody. I would have walked in there two years ago and they would have said, what are you doing to get out? Why? Because the brand I was showing up is. You want to work there, they want a certain kind of brand. They want a top MBA from a certain kind of school. So I said, can I want that job? What kind of school do I need to go to? So this year I started studying for the GNAT, a difficult exam, to get into UCLA. Why? Not because I want to die to go to UCLA, although I kind of do. But because that's the brand. UCLA student is a brand that management consulting companies want. Fair enough. So I started applying to UCLA, and guess what? UCLA also likes brands. It's all of us guys. It's all of us. They want a certain kind of student that reflects a certain kind of brand. So if I would have walked into UCLA two years ago, they'd have said, what are you doing here? We don't want you either because of the kind of brand I was showing up as in life. What kind of brand does UCLA want? Well, they want a certain brand. For example, let me take you one small aspect. That GMAT and entry exam, you need to score about an 80th percentile to get in. Not an 80th, 80th percentile compared to the whole world. An 80th percentile compared to only people that want to go to business school. That's a much harder, but that's to obtain. But that's the kind of brand UCLA wants. So the management consulting firm wants a certain kind of brand of person. UCLA wants a certain kind of brand of student. So I have to change my brand if I want to make this impossible future happen. So I started studying. I haven't taken the exam yet, but it's looking fairly good and open. But I went to my boss the other day, because you need two letters of recommendation to get into UCLA. And I asked my boss, hey, I told him, I'm very nervous, by the way, because you have to phrase it in a way where you're not telling him you're quitting, you're not quitting. And I'm not really quitting, but someday I will, but not that way. <laughs> so, very difficult to go up to your boss and say, you got me a letter of recommendation to go into business school so that I can eventually move to your firm and make more money. But you say it in a nice way, and I was very polite, but my boss was actually very happy. What he said was, I'm really glad you're doing this, Jeff. Because you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I thought you were real lazy. You had wasting your potential. I thought you were going to go nowhere. That smacked me in the face. But I accepted it because you know what? That was the brand I was putting out in the world at that time. Brand is everything. Wow. So I invite you to consider your own personal brand that you would need to create an impossible future for yourself. It might be a little blurry right now. To be 10 years to can figure out what I'll do with it. But if you work at it, you'll realize that in order to get that future way over here, you'll have to create a brand starting from way down. And you'll have to build it. But it's your own personal brand. And I invite you to consider if you don't know what that impossible future is. Ask yourself a question. What's a dream that's bigger than you? Because that's the only way to get an impossible future. You need a dream that's bigger than you. Bigger than you. What's the difference between a $10 an hour employee and a $100 an hour employee? Or a $100,000 business owner? And a $1 million business owner? The brand that person shows to the world. The personal brand is your most important asset. And if you want an impossible future, gotta work on your personal brand. Twitter, a lot of people use Twitter nowadays. I want you to consider a very perplexing little question. If you weren't you, are you interesting enough that you follow yourself on Twitter? Do you, have, do you have an interesting brand right now that you follow yourself on Twitter? Some people do. But if you have an interesting brand, is it good enough that people want to pay you for it? You could be all, you could be the greatest comedian in the world. You could be a funny person, you can make no money. You gotta be more than just interesting, you gotta be great. So that's what I learned. Your brand is your most I invite you guys, think about it. Brand is your most important asset. 
you want to be great, should be great, because nothing, nothing else.